Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. We just got our latest shipment from Battlebox. Let's see what's inside. All right, so this is mission 81. And our first item is basically a spigot. So let me show you what it, look, what it looks like there. This is probably the most important picture. If you ever um, store water, you have those big, I think they're six gallon containers. And uh, yet, if you don't have a spigot, you're trying to like pour it out slowly. So this is basically just a simple way to attach it and now you have a, uh, a spigot. So self-closing tap fits most water containers, tough, durable construction, installs in a few minutes. And um, I'll show you the picture on the back here. So you can basically set that up for a variety of different water containment systems. And now you can basically get it out easy, get the water out easier. So um, in, the, uh, in the info here, it says, uh, having plenty of water on hand is paramount. Oftentimes you use those blue six gallon containers. The question though is, how much of this resource do we waste? Like how much does it pour out? And so a simple spigot can help with that. Value for this item is coming in at 15 bucks. So that's our first item in this month's battle box. Our next item coming in at 12 bucks is this. This is the first line synthetic CLP gun oil and it's a pen. So basically you take this top off and you can see that. Now you twist this bottom section and that's gonna basically start moving your oil up and then you press it against your uh, your firearm where we're gonna be putting the oil and uh, boom, there you go. The thing I love about this is it's this compact. Um, I like the fact that it's like in a pen size, you can easily sl uh, slip that into, you know, like a little EDC pouch or something like that. I use lots of um, little organization pouches from like Vanquest, Maxpedition, even Roaring Fire, I've used some of theirs. So this allows you to carry that and not a high cost item, but just great to have that like in your range bag, something like that. 12 bucks for the uh, the first line synthetic CLP gun oil pen. Cool little item. All right, next item coming in at 12 bucks is this right here. So it's Duraderm Sport, and this is gonna prevent infection and promote healing. And so I'll just show you on the back here, it's these little sticks. I've never used these before, um, but ironically right now, my mom is in the hospital getting over an infection that very likely got into her bloodstream via some cuts on her hands. Um, so she's older and so her, her skin is thin and so if she gets a cut, you can easily get an infection there. And basically what it does is, you're gonna take these little sticks, I'll take one out here to show it to you, but you're gonna take these little sticks and rub them on the wound. And so it kills viruses, fungi, and bacteria on contact, including MRSA and staff. It seals the wound, it protects it, and then it starts to lower the pH so it's gonna create an optimal healing environment. So FDA cleared from hospitals to the outdoors, duradermsport.com. That is a, a cool item. This is not like a, oh no, I got to cut immediately. I have to treat it, you know, because I'm going to bleed out. It's not a tourniquet, obviously, but it's a type of item. If you keep it in a med kit, especially if you're out in the woods, you get a cut, use one of these, cover it, you know, clean it off with some water and then use this to, to, um, to basically apply it to the, uh, the cut. And that's going to do a good job preventing infection and also helping it heal long term so the value for this is only 12 bucks so it's not super expensive but a great little item now i will say right off the bat here for some people this is your basic box we're going to move on to the advanced box some people at the basic level are going to be like i want a flashlight i want a knife something like that i get it one thing i like about battle box is they're willing to kind of step out sometimes and be like okay we're not going to give you just the tactical items we're going to give you items that might really help and so i think this is, a, this is a cool item, low cost, but a high value item. All right, next up coming in at 30 bucks is this. This is the Rapid Pure Water Purification. I think in the little um, description, they're calling it a Pioneer Straw, but I'll just show you real quick. So there's basically your filtration system. There's your tube. And then here is your instructions. It says instructions for use, intrepid water bottle and a purifier. So that's that. So here in the instructions, you can see there's a lot of different ways you can set this guy up. So you're basically gonna put the tubing onto here and then this goes down once you get you know, undo the plastic and all that, get it set up. But once this goes into the water, that's gonna filter as you're sucking the water up through the straw like this. You can also set it up so you put it in a water bottle, put the unfiltered water in the bottle and then as you're sucking it up, you're basically attaching this to like a little spout on a water bottle and then that'll also filter out all the nasty. So that's cool, tiny little item, you know, not, not a huge thing, but um, easy to set up and easy to use. I have not, you know, full confession, I've used Sawyer's, I've used Life Straws. I haven't used one of these guys. It is from 
Adventure Medical, you can see up there, and they make uh, a wide variety of medical kits and things like that. So first item at the advanced level and the value is $29.99. Next at the advanced level, coming in at a value of $5 or a cost of five bucks is an SOL emergency blanket. These are great. Um, this one is 56 by 84, it's 2.9 ounces, and it's got that bright orange there. Um, I do think these are a little bit more durable than some of the cheaper ones out there. So you can use it for first aid, you can use it for shelter, you can use it as a ground tarp. Um, yeah, these are, this is a solid product. Uh, keeping one of these in your car, in a kit, in your back pocket if you're out hiking, um, in a first aid kit to wrap around people, to uh, keep them warm. Just a, a simple thing, but a great product, five bucks. Definitely uh, recommend. Uh, the SOL brand, yeah, but just in general, having emergency blankets. These are not the same as having like a down, you know, a down sleeping bag, but definitely a, uh, a helpful item in emergency situations. All right, next up we have another product from Lead Lenser, and I say another because in recent battle boxes we've been getting a bunch of these. So this is the ML6 Lantern. You can see you got the power button there on the top. Um, it does come with an 18650 battery included. There's a little note there, fully close the bottom before you uh, rock and roll with it. Basically you got your power button there, so I'll hold this down and it should come on. So there's your red option, you got a flashing option, red flashing, normal. I think there might be a, yeah, there you go. There's a flashing, yeah, there we go. So a lot of different options. Make it dimmer, make it brighter. It's gonna go up to 750 lumens. Let me hold this down to turn it off. You can see you have that loop there so you can hang it on something. They also have a base here and then they have a hook so you could hang it, um, you know, basically a variety of different ways to set it up and hang it up. Let me read you what it says here. Um, the ML6 Lantern with the patented micro prism technology provides efficient, glare-free and targeted lighting, uh, optionally available with red light to maintain night vision. Um, equipped with the power bank function, various hooks, detachable base, magnet, magnet and more. Um, so you do have your input there to charge it with the cord included. And then you have your, let's see if I can open this up. You have an output here with the USB. So you can use this as a battery pack basically to charge things up. I will tell you, as soon as I picked it up, I'm like, that thing is beefy. It just feels like chunky. So if you want something like uber, uber lightweight, maybe you wanna think about something else. But um, as soon as I picked this up, I'm like, that thing is definitely solidly, solidly built. So yeah, I mean, um, I've said this in recent videos, I'm not super familiar with Lead Lenser. I do find their products to be a bit expensive, but that being said, um, you know, I from what I've used them, they work well. So we'll see. 750 lumens max for your uh, for your output uh, for this lantern. As far as burn time, you can run this for 20 lumens for 70 hours. So that's a long time to have a little bit of light. Obviously, you've got signal options. Yeah, just say, uh, I mean, it's just, that's like reinforced glass or something. I can't tell what it is. It feels like glass. I don't want to drop it on the concrete here, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll test this guy out and kind of see what we think long-term about it, but definitely feels like a solid product right when I take it out of the box. And um, I've got some other lanterns, but I think we're going to give this guy a, a shot this winter and see what we think about it. So cost for this product is $79.99. And now we're gonna move on to the Pro Plus level where you get a knife with the knife of the month. This is the Reflex from Revolt Knives. Um, we've got a lot of different knives from them over the last handful of months. This one is really slick. When I saw this, I was like, what in the world? So that's what it looks like. It's VG10 for your steel, which is a very solid steel. So when you deploy it like this, look at what the handle does, and then like that. So you can see when you're, and you basically, let me show you again, so you can actually hear it. You deploy it, and then the bottom section is gonna click in. So listen here, ready? So that clicks in. So now you're basically squeezing those two sections together. Flat, uh, full flat grind there, two thumb studs, pocket clip can go on either side. It's kind of like a bronzish color for this one. Um, and then when you want to um, release it, I don't know if you can do it one handed, it feels like it'll be a little bit dicey, but you, there's little kind of cutouts right there, right? So you're gonna pull out on the bottom slightly. There you go. Release it, fold down like so. Now. Yeah, when it gets down, down to the end there, it looks like it is kind of locked in, right? So if you push hard, it still won't move, but you have to move the, uh, the thumb stud to get it to start to release. So that's pretty slick. It's a cool knife. Valued at 100 bucks for VG10 steel um, and the overall design and build, the ergonomics, or the, um, the engineering with this, I think that's definitely a reasonable price for this guy. 
So that's our final item in this month's battle box. Definitely a slick knife and that just a super unique design. All right guys, so as always, I wanna hear your thoughts on this month's battle box. What do you like? What would you change? I would put this in a, probably the very good category. Um, over the years, yeah, I like a good knife and a good flashlight and stuff like that, but I do like when people are willing to step out of the box when they put these boxes together and give you something a little bit different. Um, I think there's a bunch of high value, highly functional items in this. And then I do think the reflex is pretty neat. So uh, let's hear your thoughts and your feedback and let's get that conversation started in the comment section now. All right, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.